Hands up. Who is an overthinker? Pop your hands up high. Let me know in the comments. Do you find that you overthink when it comes to putting out content for your business? Do you find you overthink in other areas of your life? Because I tell you what, if you overthink putting out content for your marketing, you're probably overthinking in other areas of your life too. I'd love to know, so let me know in the comments if you find this a problem for yourself when it comes to putting together your video content or putting together other forms of content. Let me know, because I want to be able to help you through this, because it's really, really common. And I speak to a lot of women who, who come to me and say the problem that they have, the biggest problem that they have with putting themselves out there on video is that they've got too many ideas, too many ideas or not enough ideas. So either they're overthinking or underthinking. And when it comes to overthinking, often that overthinking is the safe problem. It's what we tell ourselves. It's that story that we tell ourselves that's going to stop us from doing the thing that is actually kind of scary. And so if, if you're finding that you're overthinking putting yourself out there on video, I want to share with you today a couple of little tips that are going to help you with that and are going to help you to move, move through that phase of overthinking. Because the thing is, when you do overthink, when you're in that space of overthinking or overwhelm, what happens is you're burning all this energy. You're burning energy not actually doing the thing. You're burning energy on thinking about it. Because when we think, we burn calories. So if you're finding that you are exhausting yourself, sometimes it's because we are thinking and worrying and fretting about the problem rather than actually doing it. So I want to share with you three things that are going to help you to move past that overthinking. I've got little puppies down here and they're squealing. So apologies for the background noise. I'll give you a bit of a peek. They're very cute. They've just woken up, so who knows what will happen. <laughs> so the first thing, I've just got some notes down here. The first thing is when you notice that you're overthinking something, if you feel like, oh, I'm going to do a video today and you keep putting it off and you're thinking, oh God, what if I talk about this? Uh, what if I say something like this? What am I actually going to talk about today? If you feel like you're overthinking, what I want you to do is stop. Just stop thinking and get on a notepad puppy fight. <laughs> puppy fight is going on right now. Get out a notepad and I want you to jot down the thoughts that are coming up for you around that piece of content or around whatever it is you're going to do that you're overthinking. Write down the thoughts that are coming up for you and really think about what it actually is rather than mm, it's just that I don't know what to say because usually we know what to say. It's simply, it's often, it's a deeper problem that we're facing. So write down those thoughts that are coming up for you. And then what I want you to do is to create a spreadsheet with some content ideas, with some video content ideas that you can open up and pull out whenever you need, whenever you get into this space of overthinking and putting things off, putting things off, procrastinating, making excuses for not doing your videos, so that you can pull out that spreadsheet and go, okay, today I'm just gonna randomly choose one of these content ideas and that's what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna to find a new way to talk about that topic. That's what it's gonna be. And when you have that content bank of ideas, it makes it so simple. You don't have to think about what you're gonna say. You simply open the spreadsheet and choose one. Yeah, make it really, really easy for yourself to succeed in this. And the final thing that I want you to consider is building in some accountability when it comes to your videos. So what you might have noticed is just before I went live here, I put in a post into the group saying, I'm going live in five minutes. I'm going live in five on this topic. And that way, I'm not going to back out on that. I'm not going to back out on that because everyone's expecting me to show up in five minutes. So however you choose to do your accountability, that is gonna help you to move out of that space of overthinking and overwhelm and into the space of taking action. And at the end of the day, the actions that you take will move you forward. The actions you don't take 
are going to keep you stuck in this space of feeling overwhelmed, of exhaustion and burnout. So create it a really, really simple way for yourself to do your videos. Write your thoughts down on a piece of paper. There's a structure that I teach for video content. If you haven't already heard about that structure, let me know. I can do a little pop-up on that. I, I do run workshops, a half-day workshop, where I go into lots of detail about how to structure your video content to make it really easy so that you can simply plan your content within five to 10 minutes and then press that live button. So let me know if you've got any questions, pop them in uh, in the comments below. I'm gonna be going live every Tuesday. I'm gonna choose a day now and I'm gonna go live once a week in this group on a Tuesday and I'm gonna be answering all of your questions. So anything that comes up for you, whether it's to do with video or to do with public speaking or business in general, I'm happy to answer those kinds of questions too. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments and I shall see you soon. Oh, and remember, every single weekend in this group, it's your turn. You guys can have a go. So jump on in. And I've realized I just said, guys, I'm, I'm really trying to move my way out of that. It is your turn <laughs> on the weekends. Jump in, do a video, share your message, build that confidence by practicing. Practice in this group, it's a really safe space. And I, I really wanna see some more people jumping in there to do videos over the weekends. Because that way, you can get some feedback, you can get some help on your videos, and I'm here for you. Chat to you soon, bye.